You know something I was hooked on? Hooked by Liz Fichera. <laughs> See what I did there? This is my review of Hooked by Liz Fichera. I'm sorry if you, if this chair, if you can see it, if it's bugging you. I have stuff in my room because we've been cleaning out other places in my house. So it's stuck and I can't move it. So sorry if that's bugging you. But I am doing a review of Hooked by Liz Fichera. I will be doing it a little differently. So I've been thinking about how I could do these reviews. And I thought that I would, first of all, I'm going to... Um, rate them out of 10 instead of 5 and because then I can get like really intricate and it would be like a bit more and then if you still want me to do it in 5 I will divide that in half and then it will be out of 5 so that will be I will have it in both out of 5 and both out of 10 but mostly out of 10 I will be uh, rating it out of storyline characters writing and originality and all of those I will do out of 10 and then I'll add those up and divide it by 4 and then there's maybe a little bonus in there, so we'll see what that's all about. So let's just get started. Hooked by Liz Fichera was, will be published January 31st. So if you guys liked what you hear, go and check that out because I think you'll like it. So for plot, I am going to tell you what Goodreads says about it. And then I, if it's a little vague or, or it's missing something, I will let you know a little bit about what I thought about it. So here we go. When Native American Frederica, Fred O'Day, is invited to become the only girl on the school's golf team, she can't say no. This is an opportunity to shine, win a scholarship, and go to university, something no one in her family has done. But Fred's presence on the team isn't exactly welcome, especially not to the rich golden boy Ryan Berenger, whose best friend was kicked off the team to make a spot for Fred. But there's no denying that there things are happening between the girl and the ki with the killer swing and the boy with the killer smile. Yeah. So that's what it was about. It pretty much summarized what happened in the book besides stuff that I'm not going to tell you because this is a spoiler free review. And so I gave the plot and the storyline. It was really good. It re pretty much just follows along with that. And there's a couple of twists and turns that you won't see in that of especially the Goodreads thing doesn't tell you because it can't because it's spoiler free but it pr pretty much follows that and I think that's pretty cool like you don't see very many books about girls in sports even so you don't see about golf and then again you don't see a girl who's playing a Native American girl who's playing golf so I thought that was pretty good I gave it a eight I can't count eight out of four star, out of four, out of ten stars. See if I can put that up here. Magic. Woo. Next is writing. I really enjoyed the writing in this book. If you know me, I love it when descriptions are really intricate so that I can see it in my head. Because when I read books, it's like a movie in my head. If I can see it and everything, it's really good. And the description in this book was amazing. And the description of feelings. Because if... The feelings aren't descript described very well. You can't really get in touch with the character very well. And I felt like I was getting in touch with Fred because of the way it was written. Because it could have totally been more vague. And it still would have been an amazing book. But it was a great, great description. And I, lo and I especially love description of land. When it's description of land, if it's really good, it was great. So I gave that an H... 0.75. I'm not going to do that with my fingers because I would fail. Characters, and these are the main characters. There's Fred, who is the girl who, the Native American girl who's put on the team. I really, really enjoyed Fred. I loved learning about her culture. I loved learning about her family. I loved following her onto the reservation. It was just, oh, it was amazing. I loved, loved, loved Fred. And I think it's so original that her name is Fred. Like, not... I feel like right now in books it's really a big thing to have unusual names and I'm loving it because I love unusual names like they're amazing so Fred as a girl I think it was a great 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 name and then the other boy who's the main character Ryan I 
wanted to smack him sometimes. Like, it's good because Liz wrote in a great way that made me want to smack him, but I wanted to smack him still. So I don't know if that's good or bad, but I gave the characters... Oh, and then the second... The other characters in the book were also very well developed, and in books these days, the parents aren't really well developed. Like, you'll know that they have parents, but they're not really talked about that much. But in this book, the parents were characters, and it was placed in very well. I gave the characters 8 out of 10 stars. Originality. Uh, I kind of touched on this earlier, but you don't see very many books about Native American girls who like to play golf. That It's just not a huge thing out there. So I was really not sure if I would like this, but it was such an original story that I just had to try it. I gave it 9. The originality, 9 out of 10 stars. Okay, time to add them up. With the plot slash storyline at 8 and the writing at 8.75, the originality at nine. If we add all of those up, meh, hopefully there's a line somewhere there. The total is 8.4. But wait, there's more. There's a bonus. So for the bonus, the book has an option of getting an extra 0.5 one tenth for each thing. No, one one hundredth. One, one you know what I'm talking about. So each thing gets one of the five points if I liked it or not. So, for instance, this book was written in alternate chapters and alternating chapters is one of my absolute positively favorite things to read. So it gets an extra point one. And the Native American culture was really greatly described and I felt the presence of it and it was just great. I think that it could have gone wrong, but it didn't. So another point, one for that. So it brings the total to 8.6. Liz Fichera's Hooked gets an 8.6 and if you like it out of 5, it is just about a 4.3. I really enjoyed this book. I gave it a 5 on Goodreads. I lowered it a little bit down to a 4.75, but I think that for my review, this is like the getting all technical type thing, and that was just kind of right off my head. I really enjoyed it, and I just think that if you like something different, that's a little bit different, like the storyline a little bit different. I think you would really, really like this book. That's all I have for this video. Please, please let me know if you can think of any other categories that I could put into the ones that I add up and multiply, or I mean divide, and let me know if you think that the book is kind of interesting, constructive criticism, anything. Just put it down in the comments, and I hope you guys have a wonderful booktastic day. Bye, guys.